Hi guys, uh, I'm Anya. I'm popping in to show you how to create an album. And I wanted to show you that I create album in smart albums. When I first started, I've been doing a lot of research. Um, what is the best way to create album? And this was uh, my option. I This is an investment, guys. I'm telling you. This was, I think this was about 300 pounds to buy, uh, the actual software. And I bought it on, uh, I think, um, Black Friday, which was half cheaper or 60%, 40% off and on anything like that. But it saved a lot of time and hassle. And it's a great software, guys. It's worth investing it. Uh, so. First of all, uh, how I do it, uh, I need to go to the internet. Uh, I wanted to show you guys, I work with uh, Shootproof and obviously uh, once you send a client or family uh, your gallery, I ask them to uh, uh, press which photos they like and that's how I get them to kind of start on albums uh, or to create the albums yeah <clears throat> and whatever way you're doing are you doing all-inclusive packages are you doing in-person sale or anything like that um, guys uh, sorry this is very slow I don't know why my internet is very slow anyway you're doing guys uh, it's obviously probably your way it's the best way but I just wanted to show you what works for me so uh once you've got uh uh i don't know why is this not working sorry uh i wanted to show you the galleries so once you send the client a gallery uh, they will you will see in in your gallery that client liked photos as visitor activity you go to and you say you go to favorites they liked 125 photos you can download these photos from here you have to go back and go to dashboard and here you see recent gallery activity and press for star means liked favorite photos so they chosen 125 uh, favorite photos uh, uh, you click on them and here they are you can see <clears throat> all the photos uh, just to bear in mind that it's important that you guys name the photo newborn or thin or name rather than leaving just uh, the number of image in JPEG because if you downloading this onto your website it will give if you it will bring your website up in SEO. So for you to be able to download these photos, you have to uh, press this button, download all. And because I already downloaded it, you can really see. I think when the photos are ready to download, an email will be sent to Anya. So submit request, uh, and and I already recently that did that. But basically, the email goes to to me, and and I can find. Uh, here zip file of photos favorites from this person yeah so should you send me an email and I you just have to press download all and that takes you to a file zip file you press on that zip file and here it is it's downloading uh, I've already downloaded photos but because it's a small resolu resolution files uh, just for the purposes of showing you guys I am uh, I'm, I'm basically uh, well it's downloaded now yeah so once you've got the pictures downloaded why I why I download from Shootproof it saves me ton of time guys if you ask a client to like the photos you want to put in the album it will save you ton of time and they like to do it uh, please bear in mind that you have to <laughs> kind of mention uh you have to mention to them that um, you the favorite photos needs to be limited if you're doing a small 10 pages album uh, it's about 20 photos 
if it's a, a little bit bigger album, 30 by 30 centimeters, you do about 40 to 80 photos, but it depends how you're designing the album. Because if you wanted to, I show you, <clears throat> this is the album I already designed for them. And uh, I designed two, one small one, one big one. This is a standard 20 by 20 centimeters album. Uh, but what I want you to see that uh, it depends uh, on your style because if you've got a style where you want to put uh, only one picture per page then you probably just can just about fit 20 pictures in here yeah? but if you uh, you you can put some more photos uh, you see I, I put three or four on each page then obviously this is I think I tr uh -huh. this, this one was uh, I think only 15 by 15 centimeters a small version of, of the album actually so that was a very tiny album and I just decided to go for color pictures but uh, <clears throat> uh, anyway uh, I wanted to show you here Let's open a new album, yeah? Uh, here you choose which company you go through. In America, a lot of people go with Miller's. And uh, here, Miller Lab. And here in England, I use and photo. I think they're really, really great. But a lot of people use um, Luxury. You've got Luxury here. Well, this is the company I work with. And here you've got options of format uh, album you want to choose uh, mine will be square and i'm choosing 20 by 20. Uh, next photo album oh gosh i can't go back but obviously oh no i can go back here you've got option of dream book photo book or photo album because i create albums i i press photo album obviously everything is set here all templates i leave it like that because that will give me a room to play uh this is all set at the beginning i can change this to white now because uh, uh because i used to do kind of gray background but now i'm changing the color to white here it's, once you set this up you don't have to do it ever again at least if you want to play with a new project it will be newborn um, um, and here what you're gonna see you're gonna see uh, basically a page of the album and here you can press for import images and press and you have to put in finder then here they are it's uh, by by downloading photos via zip file and email, it, uh, I did say that before, but it saves you guys a lot, tons of time of kind of, instead of going back, copying and pasting each photo, you just got photos that clients likes, it makes your life much easier. Just remember to reduce the number of uh, photos that clients chooses for you. Or you can choose yourself, it's totally up to you. So here I am, here is a photo, you just drag it here and add on mm, whichever one you like uh, and the way you like to do it. So I like to start off from putting two be probably best pictures I have. This is this is not the best picture I have, but I would I think in my previous album, I, I, yes, I wanted to show that uh, those two girls, and I think I wanted to, I think I uh, kind of uh, showed uh, him as, uh, as a feature. <laughs> well, that's not any good, but let's say, let's say it's this one. You can press on it, and you can move it up and down. Uh, Maybe this one. Um, she actually liked this one a lot. Not my favorite photo, but she loved this one. Um, you can either do black and white or color. 
this is how I leave the page and next one could be uh, a photo of uh, a boy uh, spread all over the, the spreadsheet uh, just bear in mind there is a line here so let's say I wanted to put this face I wouldn't because this uh, it wouldn't look very nice that uh, the line that goes across the face but because uh, this what this photo uh, is quite long it doesn't bother me that, that there is a line and obviously clients will see that so you have an option of putting two one or as many as you like let's say we want mom and dad here uh, holding the baby and baby on the middle so having three photos you can play with this play like that obviously here i wouldn't do it that way because the, again the line across goes here so what i do very often i yeah i use this option three photos so one big one and two small ones so mom and dad and the baby and uh, you can play around again i like to do a, a bigger version because more picture you'll see on um on the album i think better uh, but like i said you can can even spread it all, all over the album I like that I'll probably leave it like that make sure you just move the photo the way you want on the middle uh, you have an option of uh, of going through it like that but I found it easier just to kind of switch here whatever you like and uh, that's it guys uh, obviously you want you can put as many photos as you like and that will give you a whole spread or as, again you can move pictures around i like that layout as well i'll probably add one more picture here just to give a three on this side and three this side uh, uh, you can also create your own spreads uh, but i don't do that it just takes too much of my time uh, then you go to file, save, um, and uh, you can basically, you've got, uh, you can see how many spreads here, you've got three spreads, six pages, so you can carry on to 10 or 20, you have how many you like. Here you've got option of, I press ignore because this is the information that, <clears throat> this is the information basically that tells you that the bias are small and not very good quality so bear that in mind that i i'm only doing this to show you guys x4 for cloud proofing which means uh, you can uh, send this album to uh, to your client and they can either approve or not approve or ask for any changes uh, I don't like to do that. Sometimes I do it. Uh, obviously, you have to do, put your password here and and press. They will prompt you what to do. So that's one option. I'm not gonna do that now because I don't want to do it. <laughs> Sorry, it's uploading. And uh, and the other option is just to uh, upload your album. once is sorry it's doing it it doesn't matter i can switch yes oh yes i've been pressing the wrong one okay or uh you can simply uh you can simply export for print yeah and you put where you want you choose where you want uh, Spreads to be that's why I normally put a boudoir album and other ones. Uh, so that's how how you how you do it basically. I press all spreads. I don't change anything here, and I just press export. Okay. Uh, so I hope that was helpful, guys. And uh, let me know if you've got any questions. Thank you.